What's going on, guys? We're just back with another video. Today, we're going to be ranking mint numbers on VV. We got like 20 of them lined up. We got a little S, A, B, C tier. So we're going to be getting right into the video. Let's go. Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. Let's go. You already know. Ben right. made the homemade S, A, B, C <laughs> tier. Let's go. Looking fire. You, yeah. I don't know if anyone's done tier list before, but for some reason, they make it really difficult to find a free tier list maker. So we had to make our own. <laughs> But yeah, let's Looking get into fire, it. Though. It's fine. So fire. gonna be ranking these mint numbers. First off, we got zero one two four. Where are we placing it? All right. So this is a mint number that's under 300. So I think under 300s are gonna be a little bit more valuable just because they will be better for the MCP points. Cause anything under 300 mints, you get like I don't know if it's a half a point or if it's a point or if it's like a percentage more yeah. or something on MCP, but you do something get a little bit extra. more. I think that's probably going to be in A I'd or probably B. Go, yeah, B, I think I'd B. go B because if it was a clean mint under 300, I'd probably go A. Yeah. But since it's... Because we, we got some pretty good mints in here. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got next. We got 2020. Yes, so sir. Since I'm thinking that's C. It's got to be yeah. C. Yeah. I don't know, though. There's no way that's as good as a 3 was honestly digit. like a historic year, I feel It like. was. I, th I think... But and a repeat. If we're ranking it like that, though, then it's definitely not as good as 124, though, since th since that's under 300. Yeah, for master collector points, but I don't care about master collector points. But yeah, yeah, I'd probably this I'd one's go going. With that. Oh, this is. I'd hard. say C or D. C. I'd say under 2020 for me. It's I'm yeah, not under, into under the whole, 2020. Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah. I don't the one, two, three, four, fives in general. I just they're not as appealing. I'd way rather have like a repeat, whether it's like a double repeat or like uh entire repeat or anything. I like I don't know, but that's all subjective preference. Let us yeah. know in the comments if there's any specific mints you guys really like. I mean, I know we're only in the beginning, but um we definitely have better mints than this. And yeah, keep I don't going. think keep it going. stands out that much. Um, and we can move them around too. So one, two, three, four, five. I'd say I'm that's putting it at B. That's a B for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Next. 80. And that's that's a zero, a. zero, zero. There's gotta be a yeah. minimum. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's see. So oh, that's, that's, zero eighty. Yeah. I mean better, but also the I think same, I think kind of. I think the other one's better because since there's more mints of it, it makes the lower oh. mints even more valuable. True. So maybe, yeah, yeah, probably that. Or we can we can do a little half C. That gets too confusing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. But yeah, I think right. that makes sense to me. I'd do that next. Oh yeah. Okay, that one's going S, S tier. S tier. Because no matter how many mints they come out, because if they yeah. unlock, if they unlock the first forty mints, then the lower two digit di two digit mints are gonna be not as sought after as they are right now, just because there'll be more available. So the, the 69 minute is a meme number. And I think that's always going to be something that people look for. Yeah. Um, I, there's gotta be someone out there trying to collect every single 69 on the app, probably multiple people. And I'm guessing they're willing to pay a decent amount for yeah, the 69s. I, I think we should move the 080 to the A and then 0008 to the S to the right of the, all the way to the right. All the way to the right. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. like the worst place in S tier. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next, 4, solid thousand. four thousand minimum A tier for me. Yeah, I I would pick that over a zero one two four. So yeah, I would do that. I yeah. I think it's it's probably to the right of eighty though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm liking right it so about, far. I'm right about it. there. Yeah, I just don't like that little line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we got four, 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 four. Can you see my yeah files when I pick them? Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. I'm I'm thinking that too. A tier. A. Yeah. This repeat over one, two, three, four all day. Like definitely any yeah. kind of repeat over the just. I do think little... the one, two, three, four, five and stuff is cool, and I think the more numbers, the cooler it is since they're in line. I'd go A tier for this too. Um. Yeah. Um, so I'd say it's better than both of these. True. I'd put it maybe at the front of B. 
the front of the yeah just because i don't think it's as cool as the 400 and 4444 just because there's one number that's not yeah 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 yeah. let us know what you guys think in the comments down below too because yeah if you disagree with these because mints are so subjective yeah like Like we we could find these mints we could find these mints way cooler and then other people are like oh those mints suck like so (laughs) i'd put that at the bottom right because that's probably the worst one we have this yeah i think this is better than oh four three two one i didn't even realize i would say yeah but still those orders even though i feel like there is a crowd of people who go for them it's just i think i feel like a repeat stands out way more yeah we should like right there i didn't even realize that it was a four three two one (laughs) even though i made it this in the marketplace this sticks out way more than that because you can't even tell sometimes 420 though s tier gotta go s tier oh we should have done 616 for anything marvel would also be s true i was thinking about Um, that too and anything the year of a collectible when it was released or significant years would also be s tier likely maybe a tier but um yeah oh this is my favorite um i'd go s tier for me but realistically probably a tier yeah i i think it's right around there yeah let's see 98 let's go that's I would probably say a minimum probably closer to probably because it's no, a probably to the right right here all the way to the right yeah yeah or s tier all a, the way right. of a okay because that's not as that's still that's a five digit but it's not as cool as uh because the number's higher i don't know i picked the nine eight because it's like right about to be the yeah. next thing and i feel like the 91 numbers don't get as much like love unless it's like 90 but yeah what do you think of 99 versus i would like rather have 87 ni- or I'd rather 65 have yeah i think 99 is a nice one that stands out um let's get to the next one this probably going b tier just because yeah. it's not a mint that stands out but it is sub 300 so you'll probably get those master collector points yeah um that's 19. a date so yeah so we could, do you want to treat this like a significant date or just a random date? Um, let's just do a random just because I'd probably go like C2 yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. 2020. 2020, 2020 though. 2020 is a good see, one because it's a year and a repeat. Yeah. And a wild year, like crazy year. True. So I could see it in and the it's, future. And like it's a year of some of these collectibles came out. So that yeah. could be a cool thing too. And it's like the year VV probably like started. So yeah, honestly. We might i'm gonna put that on the brink just because we'll put it we'll no we'll keep yeah, it just keep mentally it mentally on the edge C, yeah but this probably d tier yeah nothing special about that to me yeah. it's like a almost palindrome that's yeah. kind of cool but True. yeah no nothing special, i don't know <laughs> yeah this one same thing i'm going yeah. d tier uh let's see what else we got here 1779 I, um i feel like that's another d yeah even this unless this was like a significant date i think i think tier, i think but... dates no matter what i think any date that can be somebody's birthday i think would be in the c tier just because even though it's not your birthday oh, like yeah, it's yeah, somebody's yeah. birthday that's true that is true so that's why the 1900 versus the 1700 we don't got yep. any 300 year old people in here nope uh Let's see. Ooh, this Ooh. is like a tier for me. That's a nice palindrome. That Eight's is my nice favorite palindrome. number. Yeah. Ooh. I could, That's it's probably better right than about all there. the ones in B. It's either the top of B or somewhere in here for A. Um, I think it's a B. I. Yeah, that's hard. But I it's think above zero I, I one like... two four. Like it would have to be tied with this one. Yeah. Because it easily beats all of these. Yeah, but those are still under 300. So the master collector's points. Yeah. I Cause, guess cause I then you're because that's about master collector's yeah, points. Yeah. Cause because that's like basically utility just for having a lower mint number. All right. We'll so, go here. Yeah, that's it's in a B tier for sure. All right. What do we got? I'd oh, go A yeah. tier for this probably. Um, or b tier i'm thinking c why i'm thinking at the front of c 
That's crazy. I would drop these three down to C before this one, probably like, yeah, easily. I mean, but I never think about those yeah, MCP that's hard. points because that's just like, I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's probably good. That could definitely, I don't know. S tier. 41. Yeah. S tier. Um, when do you, what do you think is the barrier though for where these prices stop to matter? Because I feel like, 41 through 45 maybe the 40s but then like once you get out of there like say you own like 57 or something in terms of the mint itself i don't think there's i mean it is low if people i know there's a whole yeah. craze about low mints but it's really not that like crazy I of think... a number and if the collectibles aren't minted in that order right like yeah why does that order matter yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I mean, you are getting the MCP points, but and it's more of a flex. What do you think about 41 versus 44? Because I would personally rather I'd have take the 44. 44. Yeah. yeah. I'd take 44 for sure. Cuz 0044 or something like and, that. And if repeat. the new ones get unlocked, then the 44 yeah. is going to stand out so much more than the 41. Yeah, cuz that is true. Like over the years I think they will maybe unlock some under at the one 40s. point they will like yeah. it's just a matter of when it probably won't be for a long time but <sighs> last year oh david use favorite number true i'd put that all the way to the right okay. though yeah 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 that's two two I'd go a tier probably yeah definitely a tier running out of room here yeah can't do it there we go. Perfect. Hey. So, I think, oh, oh, that's, that's the last one we had. Okay. okay. All right. I mean, wh wh how are you liking them right now? What ones would you change? I mean, for this, I'd maybe move 2020 and 6900 up and move these down, but I never think about Master Collector's points. So, that's me. That's like personal preference. Yeah. I think, I think the 98 is in front of probably the 4000 for sure. That one's a little out of place, but yeah, get um, that one. And I would rather have the two 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 instead yeah. of the Z four thousands. I I think that the two 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 is in front of the four four four. Seriously, just because then you're getting the master collectors points and it's a repeat. Yeah, you. <laughs> I never think masters collectors. Yeah. I don't points. think a lot of people do. I mean, the under three hundred is pretty cheap compared to like. Obviously, the two digits are going to be more, but like, I think a lot of people don't realize that under 300 is the MCP points. So, if yeah. you're looking to pick up some good MCP points, then I think you should be looking. How at many is it though? Like an extra half point half every or, day for one, owning half it? or one? But like, people are selling the under 300s for the same price as like 900 or something, and that's not. Like, yeah, you get you get a little bit more utility with the 300s. So that's true. I just yeah i guess that does make sense i'll have to consider that more in the future but as of right now that's i never think about that yeah that's hilarious i would still yeah. i don't know because what would you, i mean I, I would still rather pick like a mint number 400 over like a 232 two, though so yeah like this the well the 222 two, two repeats nice but i like yeah. mints that are like visually appealing besides just like that utility so I'd take the 770 over that just because I love these mints. I'd probably take the 4444, maybe the 4000. Yeah, I have the maybe even this cuz palindromes I feel I, like are, I don't think I've ever seen a mint like 08080. Yeah. I mean, I, there obviously are the mints, also, but I've just never seen them. This is one I'm really I've been wondering about and this is kind of a tangent, but 808 is like a huge term used in like because that's like the base in like the production community and stuff and yeah. i feel like if some rich producers come in like 808 mafia for anybody yeah. who knows 808 mafia i feel like if those people get into this space they're going to be scooping up those 808 mints and i've been I feel wondering like about getting yeah. into those true that's definitely true because that's like i mean it's in their name it's like what they work with like literally I don't know. I've really been thinking about like, should I just go all in on 808s and hope some like rap <laughs> producers get into this space or something? But yeah, yeah I, think... I I have uh two mint four thousand, so that's a nice little A tier right there. Got that four hundred ultra rare dunny. 
Oh yeah, that thing is nice. Oh, if anyone wants to buy that for 400k, hit me up. <laughs> hit him up. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it for the video. If you yeah. guys like, if you guys think that our tier lists are a little messed up, then just let us know. Like. I mean, just yeah. it's all subjective. People are gonna disagree for sure. Yeah. Well, that's... I also don't. I also don't think people look at like the t- the the mints that we just put on. Like, I think people are only looking at the low mints and not realizing that a lot of yeah. these mints are still look really good, and they're gonna be bought over the random mints any day. Like, I yeah. would buy. I when I look in the market, if I see a good mint under, like if it's like five lists down or. 10 less down depending on the price like i definitely pay a premium just for that mint so yeah that's all of the collectibles i've bought recently have been not floor buys and looking for like a good mint kind of i don't know a couple scrolls down and i think i also want to say like mints in general i know they're weird like especially if you're new to vivi it's probably really weird why people are paying like thousands of dollars extra for like a 42 mint or something but I also think like when you're buying that mint, you're investing in like some security and being able to sell it in the future because that mint is going to be a lot more appealing or should be based on how the community treats mints right now. In the future, you should be able to sell it over anything else in the floor that's like a random mint. And so I think you're also kind of just like, I don't know, buying or investing in like some easy liquidity kind of something yeah. like that. Yeah, and also it seems like the like the lower mints and stuff don't get as affected at like with the price movements. Like seems like they're yeah. more steady. People who buy those don't just buy to like sell off immediately. Yeah, I feel those like are they like buy for the long term. run. Yeah. yeah, or maybe a quick flip, but moving up in price. Usually, I feel like they don't sell for losses, but yeah who knows let us know what you guys think about this and let us know if you guys like are looking at mints and stuff when you buy in the market or if you are just more like buying the floor like you don't really care about the mints let us know in the comments down below if you guys liked the video drop a like subscribe if you want to see more hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every post don't forget to enter our giveaway in the description this is Vivi vision and we'll see you guys in the next video let's go homie homies let's go let's go homie homies let's go